I believe you are here for Magistrate Jin Shi. The Magistrate left Hong Zhen about 15 minutes ago. She should be at the Truth Seekers Pass now. That's what they call it in Hong Zhen. You might know it better as the ruins of a Court of Savante facility. Lady Xin Yi, please elaborate. Madam Magistrate, are you...? I'm... fine. How's the situation? Have we evacuated all the civilians? Yes. Remaining civilians have been counted and escorted to safety. Good. These hidden chambers should provide some much-needed shelter for them to rest a little. Despite being the Sentinel's appointed resonator, I haven't been able to sense its presence for some time now. I can feel my resonance ability waning, and I get my power from the Sentinel. This can only mean one thing. The Sentinel's condition is getting worse. Lady Xing Yi, I need to know where the Sentinel was last seen. I can only fix the temporal disruption within a confined radius. It's already pushing my limits to keep this small pocket of space secure. Mount Firmament is in serious trouble, and we can't waste any more time. We need our Sentinel to stabilize the time flow. The Sentinel was last seen flying towards Mianlun Chamber, where it would normally rest. The Fraxidus likely swarmed it soon after, but little did they know. We had a defense system in place, built with the help of the Court of Savante. It was reactivated as soon as our Sentinel made it back inside. This mechanism has allowed us to locate their troops, and we've already eliminated some of them outside the Mianlun Chamber. To get inside Mianlun Chamber, we have to find the cipher key in Truth Seeker's Pass and unseal it with the Keyforge. Understood. I will go bring back the cipher key. You are injured. Please, rest and leave it to me.
The Fraxodus will most likely attack this place once I leave. You must stay here and guard it. I implore you, Xingyi. Help me keep our people safe. Yes, I will, Madam Magistrate. Before I headed to Mount Firmament, the Fraxodus revealed a prophecy from our Sentinel. A fateful clash between the Sentinel and myself that would shape the fate of our city. I never intended to believe their baseless claims, but I was not surprised to hear it. The Sentinel had told me long ago that there would come a day when I surpass it in power. A day when the humans of Jinjo take control of their own destiny. Once we save the Sentinel from danger, I intend to have a serious conversation with it about this prophecy. And then she left. There's still one thing that doesn't add up. How did the Fraxidus kidnap our Sentinel? The Mianlong Chamber was once renovated by the court of Savante. Do you think their research could be involved somehow? I'll look into what you said. But once we have the cipher key, the Mianlong Chamber will be left vulnerable to the Fraxidus' potential retaliation. We must keep them at bay. Rover and I are headed to the Truth Seekers Pass to meet up with Jingxi. We'll distract the Fraxidus' main forces, giving you an opportunity to stage your ambush. And the locals will handle the rest. I will send some men to open up the side exit for you. Head south and keep walking a couple of minutes, and you will see the Truth Seekers pass downstream. Thank you, Lady Xingyi. Please, leave it to us. In this place she was born, and in this place she returns. Our Magistrate's fate is bound to Mount Firmament. Did she know each other? Jinshi was chosen as a baby for her resonance ability, and raised in City Hall to become the Sentinel's appointed resonator. All the government workers there helped care for and teach her at some point, including Lady Xingyi. She grew up with immense responsibilities, forced to suppress her true nature from a young age. Thinking back, and she was only a teenage girl when she became the Magistrate. She's been burdened with unimaginable weight, but most are not fathom.
Winds guide me. I assume this is the Truth Seeker's past Xing Yi mentioned. Yes. This should be another Chronos Order. It should work in similar ways with the one we saw near the Luminous Shore. The entrance is built on that cliff, and it's been blocked. We will need to break the three photon vaults with ranged attacks first. Hmm. Nothing. I was wondering. How did the Court of Savante create such an advanced mechanism using the Sentinel's power? Mortals aren't supposed to be able to comprehend it. I've never heard of any human civilization having the ability to manipulate time. Unless... the Sentinel willingly taught them. But why? We need to focus on items related to the Court of Savante in Truthseeker's Pass. Maybe we can find some clues there. Good. Did you see the Tacitite fulminate on that cliff? Perhaps we can create an opening in this disk with an explosion. One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. Can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to use the chronosphere. One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. We can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to use the Chronos Order. Guide me. <laughs> One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. We can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to use the Chronos Order.
Wind, guide me. <sighs> Endure and defy. Good. Did you see the Tacitite fulminate on that cliff? Perhaps we can create an opening in this disk with an explosion. Guide me. It worked. The opening fits right onto the middle photon vault. Rover, now we can hit the three photon vaults simultaneously. The blockade has been lifted. Let's go in. Why are there tacit discords here? No. These monsters, they don't look like the usual tacit discords. These also look like the works of the Court of Savante. They create these simulated holograms to protect this place? Endure and defy. Shape the shape 
list. up ahead. Is it another mechanism? It seems to have unlocked after we got rid of those holograms. Let's go and have a look. Glowing patterns on that gate. It's a flare crest. Yes, the flare crests have a complex structure, but they can be deciphered with patience. See how each star represents a flare stone? That mechanism we accidentally solved earlier should be one of them. Yes, we still need the other two flare stones to open it. Wait, the blood and scales here. It's Jinshi. She is likely teetering on the edge of overclocking now. We are running out of time. For another adventure? Decades have passed, but those researchers' presence still lingers in this place. The Sentinel situation is worse than we thought. It had already sustained severe injuries when it descended upon Mount Firmament. With one of the temporal programs lost, no longer had the power to restore time. Instead, it could only stop and rewind it. So the Sentinel protected Hongjin with its power, but it couldn't return things back to normal. It would seem so. 
According to their theories, the Sentinel's injury would worsen over time. And if the Sentinel perishes, the temporal disruptions will spiral out of control, engulfing all of Jinzhou. <sighs> so the Fraxidus just added a pinch of salt to the already gaping wounds on Mount Firmament. There's nothing we can do. At least that's what it says in these records. Only the Mianlong Chamber can provide temporary relief for the Sentinel, but it won't heal it completely. In the end, the Sentinel and a peculiar visitor who is immune to time disruptions would have to come up with a last resort. The Sentinel couldn't be fixed, so they decided to replicate its power onto a resonator through induced resonance. Their experiments resulted in the first Kronos Order, a man-made resonance object. No, a Kronos Order can only rewind time within a narrow range. It's no match for the Sentinel's immense power. We are getting closer and closer to the truth. Two more Flare Stones left. Everything aside, first we must find Jinshi. Against the wind. <sighs> Against the wind. Speeding up. Against the wind. <laughs> Another Kronos order. The second flare stone. Behind this gate. Let's restore the collapsed gate with this Kronos order. Yes. Hmm. So it turned you into a clangbang. Please use the leap device to eject yourself and crash through that ice wall. Another Kronos Order. Let's give it a try. The stone slates have formed a path. Now we can bring the Tacitite foam across the water. This hidden area may allow us to reach that photon vault. Still another photon vault to break. Mm, we can't reach it from here. We may need to look around for a better vantage point.
Me? Lucky you! Heating up.
An unexpected discovery. One last flare stone to go. We've reached the carrier lift. Something about the carrier lift seems stuck. <gasps> Something about the carrier lift seems stuck. We've reached the carrier lift. Is that so? So this file confirms that the Chronosorters are artificial resonance objects. They activate when hit with a strong impact to create the corresponding resonance effects. And this also answers my previous question. The Chronosorters rewind time through resonating with the Sentinel. No, it was nowhere near enough. The Chronosorters shut down once they are removed from the Sentinel's range, or the abnormal time flow on Mount Firmament. Plus, as artificial resonance objects, their capacity is limited. According to the Court of Savante researchers, there was a hypothesis that could potentially make them more powerful, the Second Resonance Awakening Hypothesis which states the collision between two resonating frequencies might cause a second resonance awakening. Yes. That fight has to happen to trigger a second resonance awakening for Jinshi, so she may exert even stronger resonance abilities, ones that allow her to restore the flow of time. Countless Chronos orders were made to collide with the Sentinel's frequencies, but they were no match. All the machines turned to dust. One Chronos Order briefly showed the power to restore time before breaking apart. This proved that a second awakening can indeed improve resonance ability. The research log mentioned that all Chronos Orders were working in an overdrive mode. It's similar to how human resonators experience overclocking, they wrote. Overclocking happens when a resonator overexerts their ability. And this researcher who wrote this suggests that it might be the key to triggering a second awakening. No, it's not. Exhausting oneself will only result in destruction. In addition, I noticed another detail in these records. The Chronosorters required manual control, while the Sentinel Jue appeared to be under someone else's command. In the only incident of success, just as the Chronosorter was about to break down, that peculiar visitor gave an order to the Sentinel. And the Sentinel successfully transferred some kind of energy to the Chronosorter thanks to that order. Rover. Do you have an idea? <sighs> Wind, guide me. <laughs> Jinchi.
You. Don't worry. Rover is special. The temporal disruption can't hurt him. I... <coughs> but... Cheng Li... You're... Shh. I gave my word to be your pawn, and I intend to keep it. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. And let's not forget, without me playing the Wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have him here. Rover has a strong connection to this place. You need his help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. But... we already owe Rover a lot. As we headed toward Mount Firmament, Rover mentioned a strange dream he had. It may have been a flashback of his lost memories. Rover, Jue, and Mount Firmament. There must be some kind of crucial connection between the three. Rover also has his own reasons for being here. I see. Rover, I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. It will surely have the answers you want. Let's cut to the chase. What did you find in Truthseeker's past, Jinchi? According to the Court of Savante's records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinjo. Only the Sentinel's appointed Resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Their records indicate a solution. To reverse the rapid aging effect from temporal disruptions, I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat, triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. Let's say you can achieve all that, but Chinshi, do you understand what is at stake for yourself? I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue, but I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since the city's founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. The temporal disruptions we face are just a side effect of its efforts to protect local people. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. So what do you plan to do, Jinshi? If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Today it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow it could be all of Jinjo. I... I will. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. It's the only way to save Mount Firmament, protect Jinjo, and help the Sentinel. Have you thought about the consequences, Jinshi? Trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the Sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. We both know what that means. You could lose your mind forever or even disintegrate into dust. You don't want to end up like those Chronosorters, shredded under immense pressure. On top of that, 
Do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? I can see right through your facade, Jinshi. You're essentially committing suicide at this point. You're one to talk, my teacher. I learn from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? Oh? I don't remember ever teaching you that. We all die eventually, but we need to stay alive as long as we can to achieve more. Jinshi, you must live and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. Cheng Li. I... Jinshi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. That's why I brought Rover here. You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our Sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. He is also the mysterious visitor spoken of in tales about Mount Firmament. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. If anyone can help us with the situation at Mount Firmament, it must be Rover. Thank you, my teacher. Jingxi will keep your words in mind. Lastly, we still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our Sentinel trapped. This will determine if you can actually meet it face to face. Yes, it could be any of these scenarios. Lady Xingyi is already on the case. We should get an answer soon. The cipher key should be inside the stone chamber behind its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving. Look, our last target, on those floating floor tiles. We need a way to restore them. It worked. The Court of Savante said many... ...here. They must have worked hard to protect Mianlong Chamber. It's a trap! Watch out! Take four. I'm done with all three flare stones. 
Good. Let's head back to the entrance. Should be able to access the cipher key now. Cipher key. Rover, take good care of the cipher key. I'm leaving the rest to you and Jinji. Please don't forget, I am your Wayfinder. I journeyed with you into the mountains to ensure you meet up with Jinshi. From this point onward, I will be counting on you both to go and confront the Sentinel. This is all I can do for you. I'm here to guide, not intervene. The path is yours to choose. Not to mention, the Fraxidus has been pestering us non-stop. You'll need someone to keep them at bay. Yes, they've been constantly watching you, interested in your every move. They can never seem to take their eyes off of you. By all means, please carry on without me. As for myself, I have a more fitting location to make my contributions from. Oh, speak of the devils. not how we greet people here. Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. Those artificers are nothing to worry about. Don't worry. Cheng Li has her plans. I don't believe we will run into more ambushes on the way.
Let me be your blade. Let the winds roar. Shadow descends. The discovery. Madam Magistrate, she's back! I must go tell Lady Xin Yi! <sighs> Wind, guide me. The Mianlun chamber is open now. You can proceed inside. Before you go, there's something important I need to tell you. Chang Li was right. They used the Court of Cervantes' research to trap our sentinel in its resting chamber. They use the Chrono Sorters. Our captured artificer revealed that the Fraxidas sent a death squad to invade Mount Firmament. They had a twofold plan. First, to place the Chrono Sorter in the Mianlun chamber while it was still operational. And second, to lure the Sentinel back to Mount Firmament. Although their death squad was no match for the Sentinel, by forcing its hand, the powerful resonance ability of the Sentinel would clash with the energy of the Chrono Sorter. This would ultimately cause harm to itself. What if the Fraxidus modified those Chrono Sorters? A whole bunch of them pushed to their limits all working together to deliver one massive blow. But not even that was enough to take down the Sentinel. After the first hit, they set up modified flare crests in the Mianlun chamber to form a special force field along with those Chrono Sorters. It prevented the Sentinel from replenishing energy and eventually restricted its movement and perception. So, we must free the Sentinel from that force field first. It would be a task more complicated than it sounds. 
The people of Hongzhen have lived with the Sentinel for generations. We can usually tell if it's in good shape or not. But now, the Fraxidus want to capture the Sentinel. They won't just stop at Mount Firmament. Madam Magistrate, I'm sure you didn't come here just for the Sentinel. Please tell us what you know, Madam Magistrate. Yes. I will tell you everything. So the Sentinel is actually injured. And it's been getting worse. The Fraxidus attacked while it hasn't healed yet. Their plans are devious as always. Madam Magistrate, you've already laid out this plan so far. It's always a challenge to decipher the Sentinel's intentions. But there were many theories about it in City Hall at the time. I couldn't fathom why it went through such great lengths to retrieve you from Mount Firmament and raise you within our walls. But now that I reflect on it, perhaps the Sentinel saw in you the potential Potential to one day restore the temporal program and ensure the survival of Jinjo's inhabitants. I just never thought you'd be willing to follow through with that prophecy. It was here on this very mountain that I first encountered the Sentinel. Back then I was too young to remember anything. Even the image of Mount Firmament has slipped from my mind. But this time, as soon as I stood at the base of Mount Firmament, I felt a wave of recognition wash over me. Memories long buried resurfaced with sudden clarity. Lady Xingyi, I was born with my life, my everything connected to our Sentinel. But my duty as its appointed resonator is not the only reason for my decision. I'm following the heart of my younger self before I became Jinshi. The girl who used to laugh with pure joy as she felt the snow from Mount Firmament on her face. I'm a seed born on Mount Firmament, carried by the wind to every corner of Jinjo. But now, I've returned to my place of origin. It's time for me to take root and grow into something greater. <sighs> no matter what happens or what choices you make, please remember, the people of Hongzhen will always have your back. Mount Firmament has been stagnant for eternity. Perhaps a sudden crack of lightning is what we need to break through the fog of uncertainty that has lingered over us for far too long. Once you pass through Hongzhen, keep your eyes open for a cave on the northern cliff. That will lead you to a shortcut towards Mianlun Chamber. The place is directly under Mount Firmament's iconic Chi, so far everything we know about the Sentinel is still just speculation. You were right. But my weakening resonance ability and my connection to the Sentinel leave me no choice but to explore these theories. Whether it's fact or fiction, truth or a lie, I have to confront the Sentinel and see for myself.
the Mian Moon Chamber should be deep in the cave. Let's go. Cherish every gain. Wind, guide me. <laughs> Leave it to me. Shadow descent. Keep it together. Let the winds roar. Be there for everyone as we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind. May I pray for anything specific for you? It would be my honor. I'll do my best.
Winds guide me. <laughs> Leave it to me. Shadow descends. Must be the Mianlong Chamber. We should now help the Sentinel break free from the Flare Crest spines. Chronos orders nearby may have frozen this body of water and time. Or it could have been caused by the temporal disruptions here. Either way, we can use it to our advantage. We can walk over the water now. We are too far away to see what's going on inside. Let's go. I still need more information to determine what we should do next. Against the winds. Against the winds. the sentinel's presence inside but it's not responding
The Flare Crest. The Sentinel is telling us we need to find the three flare stones corresponding to the Flare Crest. Then we will be able to lift the confinement set by the Fraxidus. But I'm not seeing any flare stones or any kind of entrance to another chamber. There seems to be something underwater. Let's start with the Chrono Sorter here. The water level has dropped. It's the flare stone. On that rock. The flare stone is right here. But we have to open this photon barrier first. This barrier will break down once the corresponding photon vaults are destroyed. One of the photon vaults is in there. Let's give them hell! Leave it to me. Shadow descends. We need to find a way to destroy the spikes with the corroder's help. Same as last time. Let's locate the photon rock first. Photon Vault is hidden behind the fissured ledge. Fissured ledge. If only there was a tacitite fulminate. Let's look around. Let me be your 
Done. Two more to go. Let's look for them nearby.
Time flies by. Anything can change. Yet, the sonnet's caskets shall endure. Remember to stop and look around as you ex giving relics. I will be there for everyone as we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind. Fang Pharmacy here. Hello. What type of medicine are you looking for today? I might be able to make it taste good. Be sure to pay close attention to the contraindication and side effects of your medication. Be sure to pay close attention to the contraindication and side effects of your medication. Be sure to pay close attention to the contraindication and side effects of your medication. Be sure to pay close attention to the contraindication and side effects of your medication. Be sure to pay close attention to the contraindication and side effects of your medication. I will be there for everyone as we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind. there for everyone as we head toward our world around me i can hear it clearer now let's reach father another day may i pray for any i'll do my best i will be there for everyone let's reach father destinations together i will be there for everyone as we head toward our shared future leaving the past behind